Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in uh, Bootstrap version 4 into our Django project. And the reason I'm doing this is so we can work with pagination in our next tutorial. Um, with uh, setting up pagination in Django uh, or any project, you need some CSS uh, uh, um, styling so it looks proper, all right? And like I said before, I hate writing CSS and doing stuff with HTML. So what we're going to do is bring in Bootstrap version 4. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So let's get started. First things first, let's open up our... Uh, text editors, we're only going to need our settings and our um, base.html open. So I'm going to close all these out so we do not get lost and confused in here. In our example directory, we got our settings.py file. Let's go ahead and open that up. And also our base.html file. Um, before we get started with uh, bringing in Bootstrap, let's go ahead and make sure we're configured correctly. Uh, we set up static root before, so let's go ahead and change something here. Let's change this to static files. And this has to do with when you upload your um, your project to a server, it's gonna create what they call um, crap. Now, uh, collect static, and what collect static does is it it goes and collects all the static files and bundles them together and puts them on the server. All right, so that will go in this file static files okay and we need one more we need a static files dir all right so we're going to say capital static files underscore directory all right and we're going to set that uh caps off os path no we're going to set this to a list actually i'm sorry and then os.path.join and it's going to be base dir and if you're not sure where we get based our show you in a second and then static all right so we're setting our static files uh directory where it's located um and we get based our all the way up top here it's right here all right so there we go as long as you have static url static root and static files underscore dir and you have these correct paths set then we will be golden to set up our um, CSS static files. Next thing you want to do is make sure you have a static file in the same level as your template. So if you minimize all these directories right here, you should have a static file. All right. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and create. Uh, we'll create three directories in here. Uh, we're going to do CSS. We're going to create another one. Uh, we're going to do JS for JavaScript. And we're going to do another one. We're going to do images. IMG for images. All right. Today we will not be using images, but I do tend to put that in there because sometimes you need an image directory. All right. So next thing we want to do is open up your browser. And we're going to go to get bootstrap. And we're going to download uh, the file. So get bootstrap. All right. Um, Whoops, should have typed the whole thing in. Now it's going to search for it. Now I'm going to have to click on it. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. So we're going to get Bootstrap. All right, the version 4. It's the latest version. It came out like a month or two ago. Um, been working on it with a couple projects. I personally don't think it's as great as version 3, but I'm sure they're making an improvement. So, all right, so we're going to go to download right here, the button on the home page. Click on that. And then we're going to go to compiled and CSS, compiled CSS and JavaScript. Go ahead and click on download that. All right. So that's downloading. I'm going to get rid of this browser stuff here. We don't need that right now. Um, all right. So I'm going to open up my finder here. And pretty sure it's not on this screen. There it is. All right. So um, in my downloads folder, or directory, I should say. Downloads. Of course, it's being slow. Anytime I do a video, it's slow. Any other time, it's fast. All right. Um, come on. So we got this bootstrap zip file here. We're going to unpack that. All right. 
and it's doing that as we speak. Now we only need two files out of this whole uh, zip package here. There's going to be multiple files in here. Um, you got CSS, and it, you see it's got grid, it's got reboot, it's got CSS, and we're going to need min.css. The grid and the reboot that you know, if you just want to use the grid, then you put that CSS file. I have no idea what reboot is. I think that might be uh, all the CSS um, stuff without the grid and so on. So all we're going to need is min CSS. So we're going to get and click on that and then command C or control C, depending on your operating system. And then we're going to go over to our CSS folder, right click on it and go ahead and paste. All right. So that's going to bring in the file. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for our JavaScript as well. So here comes my min CSS. And I'm going to open up my finder again. And I'm going to close out the CSS file and go to the JS file. And we're going to bring in bootstrap.min.js. All right. So I'll, this time I'll right click on it. Or I can just command C. I'll just copy it this way. Copy bootstrap min. And then go back to my JS file and go ahead and paste it in. Just like that. All right. Okay. There we go. So now we have the, the CSS file and the JS file we're going to need to bring into our project. Uh, next thing I want to do is open up our base.html file and we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we bring in a CSS file and a JavaScript file or static files into our Django project. First things first, we want to load static. All right, this is a Django template tag that indicates to Django, hey, we want to load static files. So we'll go ahead and put that at the top. That's always at the tippy top of our um, project. <clears throat> and since we're putting this in on the base template, we don't need to include that in our other templates, all right? Uh, there is a few times when you do need to include it. Like if you're using um, static images uh, in certain places, you'll have to do that, bring in load static. Uh, we'll look at that eventually and I'll explain that to you then. All right, so first things first, we want to include our CSS file. So we're going to use link, all right, and then href. Inside the href, we're going to use a uh, Django template tag. So it's going to be curly brace, percentage symbol, and then percentage symbol, curly brace to close it out. In here, we're going to say static, all right, so we're using the static template tag. And that has to co that correlates with this load static up here, and then we're going to give the path to our CSS file. So CSS forward slash boot strap strap dot min dot CSS, and close that out. Close that string out. All right, and then on the back end here, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring the rel, and it's going to be a style sheet style sheet like that. All right, so, and then close out your link tag. There we go. So what's happening here? All right, so we load static, and then we call the static template tag and saying, hey, this correlates with this. And then we're doing the path, CSS forward slash bootstrap dot min dot CSS. So what happens when we bring in load static, it's actually gonna append static right here. So it looks something like this. All right, so it's appending that so it gets the static folder, all right? But we don't need that right there. It will do it automatically. All right, so down here right above the body tag, we're gonna go ahead and bring in our uh, JavaScript um, uh, file. So we're gonna need script like this, and then we're gonna do source. And in source, it's gonna be just like our CSS file. So we're gonna have the curly brace, percentage symbol curly brace, or percent symbol curly brace to close it out. And then we're gonna call static, all right? Correlation with the load static up here. And then we're gonna say JS forward slash boot strap, all right? Uh, dot min dot JS and close out that string. And then we'll come down here and close out the script tag just like that, all right? Cool. So, <clears throat> Right now, we don't have any of this uh, bootstrap stuff st set up. So one way to check to see if this all works and we have the paths correct, 
um, is we're going to go ahead and open up, make sure your server is running, and we're going to bring up the one of the pages that we created the other day. All right, I got uh, category detail. That's what we're looking at right now. So it's giving us a, the category title, the description, then it's giving me whatever posts are uh, incorporated with that category. I'm just going to go ahead and right click on my screen and click on view page source. All right. So this brings up my, my HTML page source here. And hold on. That should. I got to update this. Update. Refresh it. That's what I need to do. There we go. And view page source. There we go. All right. <clears throat> So now we have a link in here, all right? If we click on this link and we see something, which we do not see, CSS bootstrap.min.css was not found, all right? Well, let's see about static JS. Is that found? No, could not be found. All right, so we have an issue here. What is our issue? Let's figure that out because I do not know off the top of my head right now. Um... Just double check to make sure these are correct. They look correct. All right, so it has nothing to do with these right here, I don't think. So we're gonna check our settings.py file and make sure we have that set correctly. Um, we got static, static files, underscore ders, ders with an S, capital S. That should be our problem. There we go. So we'll go ahead and fix that. We'll refresh this page. And refresh over time and refresh over time. And I got some kind of issue. My server's not running properly. All right, there we go. So we refresh our page, click on this. There we go. All right, so we see our min uh, CSS file. All right, so good. That's incorporated. That's able to call that file now let's check our javascript boom there you go all right so our issue was with our static files underscore ders not der all right so if we just go back and look at that one more time so you guys make sure you got it static files underscore ders all right um Basically, what this says is, if I didn't mention it before, static file ders is the location of our static files, all right? So in static, so we're saying base dir, all right? Our base dir is this example right here, all right? And we're saying static. So it goes to the example and then looks for the static directory in here, finds that, opens it up, and then with our path right here, we got CSS, so CSS, and then... It looks for the file bootstrap.min.css right there. All right. It does the same with JS. If you guys have any questions with, for, if you have any questions about setting up uh, your static files in the Django project, please let me know. I'll help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.